The mystery of the Bennett brothers and the purloined gold in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a tale as old as time, involving treasure maps, and stolen gold, and family drama, and poor conflict resolution skills. I know all you care about is the gold, but I showed you the location in the first minute, and on this channel we deep dive into the game, exploring every facet looking under every rock that the game will let us look under, and investigating every aspect of this open world. If that is something you find interesting, let's get started. If you are new to this channel, greetings! I'm your friendly neighbor Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We begin our investigation in Annisburg with this wanted poster at the train station. Proclamation from the Sheriff of Annisburg, so formal. Reward for the arrest of Gideon Bennett, last seen on the outskirts of Butcher Creek, $100. Sadly, this fugitive was apprehended before the game even started. It is a dead end. We can keep the poster, however. Next, we can find a newspaper article on pretty much any resident of Annisburg. We will have to commit some crime in the name of justice. Hey, mister. Hello. Hi there, mister. Don't be fooled. This place is every bit as unwholesome and dangerous as it looks. And it looks like it's in the very best ever. We come up on the finest. Here is a likely candidate. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, citizen. Routine wallet inspection. Mercy, please! It's above! Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Some random supplies and the Bennett Brothers newspaper scrap. Well done, Morgan. Let's put some distance between us and this Joker, who is in a bad mood for some reason. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. All right. Now we can read this article. Ben
Bennett Brothers Newspaper Scrap, New Hanover Gazette, August 12th, 1896. Brothers slain in bloody murder triangle. Three brothers from the town of Annisburg in Roanoke Ridge are believed to be dead, reportedly all murdered by their own hands. Friends of the family say the brothers, Gideon, Ira, and Earl Bennett, were extremely close, but had fallen out recently over some gold which each believed the other had stolen from them. While the men all have some history of trouble with the law, they... And that is all we have, a fragment of the story. But enough to go on. Everyone is dead. Hello there. That horse doing all right? Moving on to the Annisburg Mines. Note this entrance. And the map. We are under the E of Roanoke Ridge. And now we climb down into the depths of the earth. Watch out for the guards. We need to go all the way down. And the map once more. And at the bottom of the mine shaft, we will find a cryptic poem that doesn't really rhyme. Arthur will make a note of it in his journal. It reads, North Bennett flew. North Bennett flew with a U. That's another word for chimney. Red roof, green door, brothers, I'll be poor no more. So it doesn't say who stole the gold. However, it confirms that one of the Bennett brothers did. We need to check the chimney of a house, presumably up north, with a red roof and a green door. No worries, I know where that is. Welcome to Reed Cottage. Note the red roof and green door. Ah, <laughs> uh, you good girl? And the map. We are east of the N of Roanoke Ridge. And in the chimney, we have a map. A very beautifully rendered treasure map. One of those Bennett brothers had some serious talent. Arthur appreciates a good illustration. It inspires him. Note the X on this tree. The map reads, Sketched Treasure Map, Elysian Pool, 20 steps north, 
and five steps east. Like all the treasure maps in this game, you cannot access the gold until you have the map. So get this map first. There's not much else in here. Some random supplies. However, there is a photograph of the aforementioned brothers in happier times. We can take a closer look with photo mode. Some truly disreputable characters. Who do you think stole the gold? I think I'll go with the middle brother, the youngest. He looks sensitive, like he would spend a lot of time drawing trees in his journal and dreaming of a life away from Annisburg and his older brothers. Also, this little cage cabinet thingy that I like. Unsure what that was used for. Not much else in here. That's Reed Cottage for you. Yep. <clears throat> Not to be confused with Deer Cottage, which has a red door and a blue roof. <sighs> and the map. The cabins, much like the names, are mirror images of each other. More random supplies, no photographs, and nothing in the chimney, except smoke. Let's move on. Finally, what you have all been waiting for, we can go get the gold. The tree overlooks the Elysian Pond. And note the tree in question with the aforementioned X. Where's that map? Arthur has a lot of maps. Okay, now we walk 20 paces north and 5 paces east. And Arthur did it wrong. Well done, Morgan. Arthur is confused. We can circle around until we get the prompt. Here it is, one gold ingot. A gold ingot is worth 300 bucks at the fence as opposed to the full 500 of a bar. Just so you know, a gold bar weighs around 400 ounces, which means at the time of this video, the value would be around $780,000. And the map. We are under the R of the Kamasa River. And finally, we can visit the grave of one of the brothers, or perhaps all three. The cross does not specify. Arthur and the Iron Grey Ardennes 
will pay their respects. And the map. We are west of the G of Roanoke Ridge. Ironically, not that far from that gold ingot. And that, my friends, is the mystery of the Bennett Brothers and the Purloined Gold. Not much of a mystery, to be honest, unless you count where they stole the gold from in the first place. My vote is for the mine, this being Annisburg and all, which would mean technically that the gold belonged to Leviticus Cornwall, and we all know he won't miss it. We might as well spend it for him. In the long run, we'll be doing him a favor. Arthur and the Bennett Brothers will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description along with links for channel membership, merch, and our Discord. And if you enjoyed this video, consider making a one-time donation to the tip jar by clicking on this handy thanks button. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Shut up! I'm just saying, about to say less.